I saw the afterglow of the setting sun shining on her light colored body. It is this a um is this a where is this going? <laughs> the afterglow i saw the afterglow of the setting sun shining on her light colored body there we go Bet, bet. Thank you, baby. All right. So this one is. Is the first one. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, the, okay. The first one's Becky's. I'm going to read Becky's first and then I'll read Freen's. Um, so. What's up, y'all? Mama, Mama True says she cooking for y'all, bro. If y'all slide, I would love to do a meet and greet with y'all. You know, if there are any of y'all that are in the DMV area, I'm thinking of, I'm seriously, especially since it's getting summertime, I'm seriously thinking about doing a meet and greet with y'all. I would love to do it. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be, I, but I really want it to be, I want our first meet and greet, <laughs> meet and greet. I want, <laughs> I want our first meet and greet to coincide with the freeing Becky uh tour, but I don't know if they coming or when if Emily, thank you, sweetheart. Emily, thank you. I appreciate you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. I really truly appreciate you. Um you are such a beautiful person. Thank you so much for your generosity. I love it. I love it. Thank yo, is that a hippopotamus popping up with a treasure chest and throwing <laughs> coins? Am I supposed to twerk for it? <laughs> Is, is, is that what you're asking for? Do you want to make it rain? Or in this case, since it's coins, make it hell? Um, look, y'all. Good night, Moonlight. Good night, Moonlight. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, good night, good night. All right, so I'm going to read uh, the Free and Becky letters. And then we're going to get into the videos. And then, like I said, we're going to get back into um, Inglot because I still have some stuff that I want to say. And, of course, we've got to go through and look at the moments, right? Um... Do mama deliver to the Philippines? <laughs> no, nah, but I can fly her out there with me and we can just come to your house and just let her in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, she can, she can get, she'll burn. She will burn. Thank you so much, Emily. You said I'm a genius. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But like, when are they coming? I decided not to do Blackpink in Jersey because I'm waiting on Freeing Beck and I can only afford one. Bro, I'm trying to tell you. I That's what I said too. I don't know when they're coming. I know it's a, they made the announcement. It is supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be like soon, but nothing has been confirmed yet. I guess. I don't know, bro. Like that's not, but, but we also, I'm hoping, I am hoping, um, uh, that Inglot are going to come back and do a second leg of their tour, their USA tour. Um, I mean, it might be later out later on in the summer, like August or something like that, but that would be great. And I'm going to that. So, so whichever happens first, first whether it be Freem Becky or um, Inglot, whoever comes first, um, I want to do my first meet and greet. I wanted to be like, like to, co I wanted to coincide with that event. You know what I'm saying? So we could link up at Solicit Nation and then go and enjoy that together. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to just do a basic meet and greet like we meet at a restaurant and then we all sit there and then I look at y'all, we you look at me and we buy drinks for each other or I buy drinks for y'all or whatever the case may be and we make like conversation like that's cool and that's fun but i want us to have an experience that we you know with, our, with my meet and greets i don't want it to just be like y'all coming and meeting me like i feel like we didn't already kind of met low-key this way and like i feel like i'm already cool with y'all so i want to just link up with my friends and go somewhere that's how i feel like i want to do my meet and greet like i want to link up with my people and just go somewhere you know what i'm saying i am here in the dmv Yas, but I might do a little mini DMV joint. I, I'm still thinking about doing a little mini DMV joint. You know what I'm saying? Just for everybody that's around this area, so y'all can meet me, Mama Truth, maybe Big Bro, Little Bro. You know what I'm saying? The squad. Y'all seen them? All right, let's get into it. So this is Becky's letter. <clears throat> 
I like the C very much, or to put it more accurately, I prefer to go to the C with P. Freen. We have been to the sea together. We taken the sea. We taken the sea breeze together, and we have seen waves crushing into the coast together countless times. That's a metaphor. It is a sweet memory for both of us, and it is said that those who go to the sea together will be able to be by each other's side for a long time. And I firmly believe in this. Now, now I wonder how long she's believed that and i wonder if that's been both of their motivation for wanting to go to the beach for so long almost like a superstitious thing you know what i'm saying um almost like how fa is i mean how charlotte is about her ring fingers and how she doesn't want fa specifically fa to put that ring on her finger because i believe that she went fa put when she wants even though technically fa did put that ring on her finger fa was the first one to kneel in front of her and the first one to put the ring on her ring finger um in the um in the show but um, I wonder just like for them, if, you know, if the reason why they wanted to go to the beach for so long is because they, it's almost like a, like a superstitious or a spiritual confirmation that their relationship is going to be a forever thing. You know what I'm saying? That's actually, I like that. I like that. And I just wonder, I want to, I want to know. She says, I firmly believe this, which means it's a philosophy to her. You know what I'm saying? Like it's built into her ideology. Um, and I find that very interesting. I find that very interesting. She's so damn smart. I saw the afterglow of the setting sun shining on her light colored body. It is this a um is this a where is this going? <laughs> I did the afterglow. I saw the afterglow of the setting sun shining on her light colored body. Saw the sea breeze blowing her hair. The waves gently passed our <laughs> the waves gently passed our insteps. It gladdened me. Seaside is always so romantic. We walked on the beach in the evening, watching the sunset change the color of the blue sea. I secretly made a wish to the sea, asking for life to be as happy as today from now on. I can only hope that the sea will also be able to hear the voice that is in my heart. I love you. Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. That first paragraph was um or that first the first few sentences of this paragraph uh were beautiful. But the moment she said, I saw the afterglow of the sun. Y'all heard even my voice changed. Like <laughs> the cadence with which I read it, I had to, I had to make it match. It had to co, you know what I'm saying? It had to correlate. I saw the afterglow of the setting sun shining on her light colored body is what got me. Cause Luna, I glitched. I 100% glitched. I just, oh my God, it's Danielle still. Look, it's all of them. It's all, it's all the things. It's all the romance. This is got, this was definitely giving romance novel to me. Y'all saw I paused. Like the writer in me was like, the writer in me was like that line. I saw the afterglow of the sun setting, of the sun, of the setting sun shining on her light color body. That's a bar, dog. Like that's a bar, man. Saw the sea breeze blowing her hair and the waves gently passed our insteps. Oh, it gladdened me. You better get the. Yo, Becky, hey, Becky, yo, Becky. I want to collab with that one. Becky better write. She better write. Oh, I'm scared to see what Freen wrote because we know Freen's poetic ass. I am scared to see what Freen wrote. If this is what Becky wrote, they are gay, Your Honor. They go together. <laughs> How many times do I got to tell y'all? Look at me. Say it with me, class. They go together. I'm not surprised by anything they do anymore at this point. I, I saw the afterglow of the setting sun shining on her light colored body, saw the breeze, uh, saw the sea breeze blowing her hair the waves gently past our insteps. It gladdened me. That's a bar. <laughs> That's a bar. Okay. Frame, what you talking about? Okay, if you asked me which place is the most suitable for relaxing, I would say it's the sea. At least it's for me and Becky. The softly sea breeze, very beautiful waves, long skyline, and there's also crowded roadside stalls and markets. Walking with her on the soft sandy beach and dance around to songs in the middle of the sunset. 
in my opinion, everything is very romantic. So just in case there was any, you know, misconstruing of her words, the moment she said romantic, P, Nong, friend, mama, daughter, older, younger, none of that shit applies. None of that shit applies. The moment that she said everything is very romantic, none of that shit applies. And it's really and it's a really suitable place for honeymoon travel. I like to whisper. I like whispering to Becky close to her ear when the waves are churning and feel her. I was looking for something to grab onto. I just. So I was stuck on the honeymoon travel part. Um, but then when I got to the next sentence, I like whispering to Becky close to her ear when the waves are churning and feel her breath. I like to see Becky's eyes when she looks at the sea. It's affectionate and gentle, like the warm sunside, sunshine on the seaside. It brightens my heart. I like a lot to run barefoot on the beach with her. That's everything I know about love. I love you. <laughs> Bitch, it's giving your everything I never knew I always wanted. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I love them. It's giving everything. You are everything I never knew I always want. I like whispering to Becky close to her ear when the waves are churning and feel her breath. <laughs> oh my God. Um, episode 10 vibes. Look, Nikki B here analyzing every word and did, and did. And did the writer in me can't let it damn that shit long, bro. Look how long my hair is, yo. It's down in my stomach, like literally down in my belly button. But I am sitting down, but still. Um, this one is dumb. This is dumb long. This is one long, extra long one. Oh, well, I'm distracted. I <laughs> that's everything I know about love. That's a bar. That's a bar. That's a bar. Yeah, the trumpets. I had to bring the trumpets out. Yo, I had to bring the trumpets out. That's their confession. This is a hunt. Duh. 100%. This is it. So I love this. They Because they told us, they said we, they were going to confess. They, they said that they, they had a confession coming. And then they dropped this. That's everything I know about love. That's a bar. Damn. Okay. I'm like, hey, what's how's the song go? I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> Dang. Why is Nikki so adorable? Emily! Stop it! No, I'm not. I'm not adorable. That's you, babe. That is you. I just can't. I love how much they love each other. And it was so beautifully written, so poignant, so poetic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was, y'all. I can't, bro. Like, are, do, I, am I the only one that Freen and Becky, like, they just, they heal your heart. Like, when, when Becky, when Freen was like, Becky heals her heart, I feel like they heal. If, if you can respect their boundaries and just observe them from afar and just appreciate the love that they literally exude and ooze off of them. Like you don't even have to look deep. You just like how, how they are is plenty of proof of what they have between them. Um, like it just makes you, it just, you go, Oh, Oh, true love. Oh, so I feel the same way. I'm, I'm, I don't want to get, cause every time I bring up Inkfine Charlotte, I get distracted by talking about them. So I'm not gonna bring it up, but I feel the same way about them. But Freen and Becky, I look at it and I go, Oh, 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 it can, it can happen. It can be that. Oh God, that's so beautiful. That is so freaking beautiful, bro.